I'm going to read you Abracadabra, The Magic of Trying. This is by Maria Loretta Geraldo and illustrated by Nicolette Bertel. Today was an important day at the Little Bird School. Today was the day they all learned how to fly. They jumped off the branch, opened their wings, and flew. The first was Blackbird. He launched himself into the air and yelled, Hooray! How fun! Next came Robin. Yippee! How fun! Then it was up to Sparrow. Yay! How fun! And then Canary and Swallow and Hummingbird. Only Little Owl was left on the branch with his wings closed. Little Owl was too afraid of falling. Come on and fly with us, encouraged their teacher, Mrs. Pigeon. But Little Owl whined, I can't. But if you don't try, you never will. I don't want to. I don't want to. Out for a walk, Turtle passed under the tree and saw Little Owl perched on the branch. Look sad. Hello, little owl. Why are you still here instead of flying with the other little birds? Because I'm too afraid of falling. Nonsense, said Turtle. With a little practice, you can do it. But little owl shook his head. No, no, I'll never be able to do it. So Turtle thought. I know a foolproof way, she said finally. Try saying abracadabra. Why? Because when you spread your wings and say it, you'll be able to fly without falling. Really? For sure. Little Owl opened his wings. Abby Kadabby, he said, and jumped and crashed. He fell down. Ouch, ouch, cried Little Owl. You see, your word doesn't work. Wait, responded Turtle. Make sure to say a bra ka da bra Go on, try again. Just then, Little Mouse, who had been listening, came along. What's going on, he asked. Little Owl is afraid of trying, explained Turtle. Nonsense, said Mouse. Did you tell him to say abracadabra? That might help. Little Owl shook his head. It doesn't work. I just said it, and it, I still fell. Try again, insisted Turtle. Little Owl went back up to the tree and tried again. He closed his eyes and said, Abracadabra. He flew a little bit and a little bit more here and there, and then crash! but this time I said it right. Yes, but you had your eyes closed, Mouse told him. Try again and keep your eyes open. Imagine yourself flying. Believe you can do it. Little Owl went back up the tree and opened his eyes as big as he could and flapped his wings. Abracadabra, he said. He went up high a little, a little more, and still a little more, but then crashed. Ouch, 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 he cried desperately. Meanwhile, Hedgehog had arrived. What's going on, he asked. Little Owl cannot fly, Mouse and Turtle told him. Oh, just say abracadabra and you'll fly for sure, said Hedgehog. I have tried that so many times and still look every time I fall. But maybe you say it too softly. Try to say it with all the breath you have in your chest and concentrate, insisted Hedgehog. Little Owl went back up to the branch. He concentrated. He opened his eyes. He flapped his wings and took a big breath. Abracadabra! He yelled with all the breath he had in his chest. This time, Little Owl took flight. He flew and flew. Hooray! This is wonderful! His friends cheered. Good work. Now, go where the wind takes you. The wind took him over the pond, where there was a school for little frogs. Today was a very important day for the frogs. For the first time, they had to leave the pond, making a great big jump up to the shore. The first frog tried and hop. The second frog tried and hop. Then the third and the fourth and the fifth hop, hop, hop. 
Finally, almost all the frogs had made it to the shore. Only one remained in the pond. Little Frog was sad. She didn't want to make the jump. Hey, Little Frog, why don't you go with your friends? cried Little Owl from the mud. Because I don't know how to jump. I'm too afraid of hurting myself. Nonsense, said the Little Owl. Try saying Abracadabra. Say it, and it will make you, it, and you will make the biggest jump. But I'll warn you, it doesn't work right away. You need to try and try and try again without getting discouraged, just like I did. Really? said Little Frog. For sure. Isn't that a great book? It's all about trying. I love that book.